As the game story unfolds, you will see notifications at the top of the screen indicating that the status of your current objective has been updated and that new information has been added to your journal. You can open the journal by pressing J or clicking the left mouse button on the notification at the top of the screen. Journal entries help to keep track of current events and guide your character on their journey. The quest tab tracks the progress of the main story. Here you can find information about any quest you have accepted and their current status. Use the journal to help yourself understand where to go and where to go in the next steps of your adventure. The rumor and contract section also contain important information. You'll learn more about them later. Awesome. Okay. Hitting J. No one must reach a warrant. A simple order to the Sentinel Cogitator will lock the chamber. Okay. Rumors and contracts. Cool. Somebody said, how are you liking this so far? I am loving this. This is awesome. <laughs> this is fantastic so far. The only negative thing I have to say about this game is I'm kind of sad that there was that big block of non-voice acting stuff at the beginning. But I'm hoping that... Oh! What? This guy does have a voice. Whatever are you doing in the warrant chamber? How did you... Throne preserve me? What is the meaning of this? Looks like we're getting back into voice acted stuff, so this is awesome. Maybe, maybe that was just like a little... A little bit of not voice acted stuff. Kunrad Voigtvier, uh, Voigt, Voigtvier is a traitor. When we parted ways to the officer's deck, he stunned me somehow and brought me here. What? I'm sorry, did I stutter? He intends to take revenge on Theodora for something, and trying to reach the warrant was somehow part of the plan. Oh, holy god, Emperor. I presume he is the one responsible for the mutiny. Nani? Bandmaster, I wish to remind you that you are to refer to the Lord Captain as Lady Theodora. He openly admitted he's the mastermind behind the mutiny. Saints' blood! And it is small wonder that the heretics are so well organized. I thought his order to seal the passages between decks was his attempt to stop the attackers from spreading to other levels. But now I see the real reason. It was to stop the enforcers from intervening. At least you are alive, and now safe, Master. Alas. I doubt we can afford to look for a compartment to sit out this disaster. Hmm. Hmm. You're in a bad way. I can treat your wounds. I have a Medicaid kit with me. Cool. And for the love of the throne, now is not a good time to be walking around the decks without means of self-defense. Here. He hands you a weapon, a stub revolver, sword, armored body glove, and med kit. While fighting, your character can lose some of their wounds. Your character has suffered an injury after being attacked by Kunrad. This happens when a character receives damage that exceeds 50% of their maximum wounds in one round. The exact percentage of wounds a character must lose for this to happen may vary depending on the difficulty of the game you choose. Injuries reduce the character's resolve. Okay. So we have suffered an injury. After falling into a trap or receiving damage that exceeds 50% of their total wounds within one round, a character will receive a fresh injury. Exact percentage, okay. Injuries reduce a character's resolve. If the fresh injury is not healed within three rounds using a med kit, it will turn into an old injury. You can get rid of the old injury with a med kit. However, healing will require an additional medic Medicaid skill test. All injuries reduce a character's stat, and if three or more injuries accumulate, they turn into traumas. If a character has received three or more injuries does not heal them in time with a med kit, the injuries become traumas. Traumas reduce the character's resolve and also inflict an additional negative effect, which, de which depends on the trauma. Okay. Traumas can only be removed by visiting a licensed therapist. Use medkits to restore wounds and heal injuries. Once combat is over, the wounds of all party members are replenished automatically, but any injuries they may have sustained remain. Medicaid, uh, med kits can only be used by characters who have the field medic feature, base skill Medicaid, or have the Medicaid skill advancement, or have taken Medicaid skill advancement at least once. Abelard can heal your character's injury. Click on his portrait, select the med kit on the panel at the bottom left of the screen, then use it on your character. He needs to be standing next to your character. Okay, cool. All items have been added to your inventory. Great. Okay, so click on him. Look no further. Click this. Let's patch you up. I'll make sure to return the favor one day. I don't think it worked. Medicaid test failed. Again. 
Let me help. I won't forget this. Medicaid test succeeded. Old Poe's injury, old injury has been healed. Great. Inventory. Uh, I'm gonna give him the med kit again since he has the skill. Oh, dude, this is such a good looking interface. All right, going to here. We've got an armored body glove. 15% armor. The character wearing this armor will dodge 45% of average enemies attack in this chapter. I don't know what those last three words are for, but okay. This armor reduces incoming damage of the average enemy attack this chapter by 10%. Why does it, why does it seem... Okay. Anyway. Alright, so we're going to put that on. I'm going to give him the stub pistol. So here's a question. Um, I'm only going to be doing range with this character. Is there a downside to equipping the sword? Do I get like a bonus if I don't have a... Oh, this has a pistol burst. That's cool. No bonus. Chapter is a stage of the game. There are several chapters like Wrath of the Righteous. Yeah, well, I figured that, but I just don't know why it says that in the armor description. That's the part that's a little strange. Why doesn't it just say 45% of average enemy attacks? Why does it say this chapter? There's, There's got to be a reason. That is a noticeable improvement. Now you're prepared for the trials ahead. Meanwhile, these guys are still just cooking back here. The lower decks are teeming with heretics, instigating the rabble to revolt. Oh, maybe they scale something? But that is something? the least of our problems. The ship's enforcers are rounding up the scoundrels and suppressing the resistance. The situation on the middle decks is much worse. All those strike teams have already been dispatched there. All communication with the bridge and the engineering bay was lost. So, apart from scattered vox casts, we have no information to go on. But that is not the worst of it. All these jolts and shaking are most alarming. These are signs that the Navigator and the Master Helmsman are having difficulty translating the ship out of the war and into real space. Uh-oh. I fear that they may have already lost control. We must reach the Navigator's Sanctum and get a handle on the situation. If we can manage that, some of all this vessel may yet survive. What exactly has gone wrong with the translation? I am no Helmsman. Oh, God Emperor, preserve me, Navigator. However, I have spent my entire life aboard void ships equipped with warp drives, and I know that portents such as these do not bode well. It could be that the Gellerfield has faltered. Perhaps the Navigator was struck down by warp corruption and is fighting for the last shreds of his humanity as we speak. Hmm. If we get thrown off course, we will be forever lost in the war. Naturally, we would likely not have long to live in that scenario. But I will not resign myself to such an outcome just yet. How did you find me? You sent me a Vox message. Specifically, a Vox cast on the officer's frequency, which I had the good fortune to receive. You mean to say you did no such thing? I think the Warrant Sentinel may have sent that message. It appeared when I opened the chamber. Warrant Sentinel? The Lord Captain barely ever ventures down to the chamber, and I was at her side only once or twice when she did. And I did not see anything of the sort. The Warren Chamber is an ancient and rather sacred mechanism that the ship's tech priests treat with the utmost reverence. I assume that whatever it is that you did, you must have activated certain processes and caused the Sentinel to awaken. But then, why did none of it happen when Lady Theodora did the same? Hmm. Okay. What can we expect to find in the Navigator's Sanctum? During warp transit, the Sanctum is closed to all who are not involved in traversing the Empyrean. And for good reason. For the Navigator to open their third eye and perceive the way, the Sanctum must be bathed in the energies of the Immaterium. Only a navigator can withstand such an ordeal. For the rest of us, any contact with the warp is fraught with perils such as loss of sanity, spontaneous mutations, and death. Spontaneous mutations. I heard one of Theodora's box casts. Lady Theodora's. Which one? 
The last one I received was about the Navigator's Sanctum, and that was a good while ago. In any case, let us hope that the Lord Captain is well, and safely in charge of the ship's defense. In the meantime, we must do all we can to prevent the ship from veering off course. Um, the Imperium and humanity lead the way, Seneschal. Cut. Okay. I love it. Uh, yeah, Arclight. Uh, Triwar is currently making us a cam bar. Uh, I will eventually be sitting up here. You guys can see everything, but just just for now, yeah, we're good. But he is, uh, Triwar's working on it. Oh, Plague of 79, I meant grinding through 44. Yes. Thank you. To arms, loyal sons and daughters of the God Emperor, fight the heresy and corruption that threatens to consume our home, and with all your might, destroy those who have dared... The Lord Captain is calling her crew to battle, which means the Vox networks are set up for broadcast transmission, not message exchange. Splendid. While the rogue trader inspires proper resolve to fight in her subjects, you and I shall prove that her trust in us is well deserved. Onward! Onward! That looked important. Oh god. Don't you dare to cross us! Combat I'll begins turn you into with corpse the star. tactical phase, during which characters cannot attack or take actions, but may try to take up advantageous positions. Select a character by left clicking on their portrait at the top of the screen, then click the left mouse button on the cell you want the character to move to. Red cells and areas are inaccessible to the character. During the tactical phase, each character in the party may move up to their maximum movement points, but cannot position themselves adjacent to an enemy. Oh, so wait, if I... Okay. Ooh. Oh god, this is gonna suck. There's no cover here. Um... Okay. So, looking at my character... We haven't even seen this yet. Um, okay. The so strength in numbers. We gain plus three resolve if there's three or more creatures in a three cell radius. Okay. Uh, then we... Oh, we don't have a lot of our origin talents yet. Do we get those by... Oh, so we don't start with all this stuff. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Huh. All right, let's go. Oh, I'm about to. The combat abilities of your character differ depending on their archetype. Available abilities are located at the bottom right of the screen on the abilities panel. I read the full description of the ability, hover your cursor over it, and or right mouse button click. Uh, before the ability is used, you'll get to review its estimate and outcome while hovering the cursor of the character to see the area of effect. If the ability's effect is guaranteed to work, the ability's icon is displayed instead of a number. When you're ready to use an ability left, click again to do it. Okay. Great. So I'm going to move you... Oh, this is Co. Okay. Um... Oh my god, we're doing it. It's as good as done. You never stood a chance! Uh, let's go ahead and you serve me on him. Hell yeah, dude. Okay. 15% crit hit chance. Oh, I wish I could fire again. Okay. Does this only fire twice? First creature for every shot within a 12 cone radius. Shot count two. Yep. Okay. All right, uh, I think we're good. Your new companion is a warrior. Abelard specializes in melee combat and drawing the enemy's attacks. Charge is a unique warrior ability that works only when using a melee weapon is not considered an attack action. Use charge to close the distance between you and the enemy and deal damage. Click on the abilities icon and choose a direction to charge in. If an enemy is in the direct path, you will attack them and will still be able to use an attack action afterwards. Okay, it can only be used if there are two or more cells away from a target. Uh, melee attacks require the character to be adjacent to an enemy. Strike the ability. Unlike single shot, melee attacks hit automatically with no need for a roll. The enemy will try to dodge or parry. 
Melee attacks can also be used to make area attacks. I charge to you, is that too? No, that is. It will be done. <laughs> Characters with melee weapons can make an attack of opportunity if an opponent is in a Jason cell and initiates movement. Okay, and apparently that includes, his, includes a dodge. Oh, can we not move after we do this? Oh, bummer. Oh, wait, maybe? What is this? Oh, I can cleave him? Okay. At your back and call. Oh, no, no, no. I could still target him, but he was outside of the red squares. Interesting. Good to know. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and brace for impact. I got that too, right? I did. Great. Okay. Good show. <laughs> didn't flinch. Hey, not Flurious with the 37 sub bomb. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the support. Thank you for it. Thank you for showing it during this. Just, just awesome, dude. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. I'm going to burst right up here. Wait, can I actually hit my dude there? I think I can. Applause if you please. Oh, look at the hit chances. Do this. On it. Okay, we'll take it. Good show. Can I voice of command him? Yes. Do it. I'll see to it personally. Awesome. Hey, Mithrin Deerhu with a 10 bomb. Thank you, dude. Thank you, thank you. Very much appreciate that, man. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm going to move you here. Follow my lead. I'm going to cleave them. One to a target. I charge you. Victory is imminent. Okay. Feels good, man. Oh, there it is. You can advance the level of your character and companions. Prevailing in battle, exploring the Coronas Expanse and completing quests earns you experience points. Once you've accumulated enough experience, your character gains a new level. Click on the arrow symbols under character's portrait to open the level up screen. Each level gained offers your character new progression options, which includes new abilities, talents, skills, improvements, and other enhancements. Your companions gain new levels at the same time as your character. Even if they are not included in the active party during your journeys, you can always increase their level later. Ooh. Interesting. So, characters we're not using. Level. That's great. I like it. Okay. We have one rank available. I get to choose skills. I just click them. Oh, I clicked one skill. Okay. I want to get my persuasion up. Yep. Okay. Wait, it's already 60, right? Wait, 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 wait. Time out here. It says 60 plus 5. But if I put this persuasion on, it turns to plus 10? Does a 5 get applied after that? Uh, I don't want to, like, waste any points. This one gets, this one goes, yeah, the, hmm. What is this little modifier here? On the right side, what does that indicate? Is that just indicating that I'm getting Apex of Brilliance? Okay, I, it says it's 60. It doesn't, it doesn't say it's 65, it says it's 60. So I'm going to get Persuasion. 
new rank available. Oh, that's it. That's it. We're done. Okay. We're done. So it says one rank available. The total number of upgrades from all new ranks. Is that not the one I spent there? Complete. Okay. I think we're good. <laughs> A little confused, but I think we're good. Okay. I think we're good. Um. Okay. So now you're done. Great. Okay. We're good. We're good. Next. One rank available. Available skills. Uh, you do not need any... What is athletics? This skill is affected by the strength characteristic. It represents a character's ability to traverse difficult terrain. For example, to leap over collapsed sections of the deck or to climb over slippery rocks. Okay. Carouse. This skill is affected by toughness. It represents the ability to resist negative effects. It may give access to new dialogue options. Uh, what is your strength? 40. Okay. Toughness is 50. Let's do athletics. Cool. Okay. Great. All right. We're good. Fate and fortune favor the bold. Oh. Defeated enemies have no further need for their former belongings. You can discover valuable trophies among them. Click left mouse button on defeated enemies to inspect what's left of them. Items on the right side of the trophy collection window go to your inventory. Such items can be used to equip your character. Items on the left are packed up as cargo and sent to your ship, which can later be used to trade with various factions. You can move trophies from one side of the window to the other by double-clicking left mouse button on them or dragging them over using left mouse button. Alternatively, you can... Wait, what is this cargo system? A Laz pistol. So I can just, I can collect all. And then I can move them to... In combat, a character may need to use different types of weapons, which can be prepared in advance. Open your inventory and prepare different weapon sets. Swapping weapons in combat does not cost action points. So maybe I should save a Laz pistol just in case... Just in case something is not good against solid. But these, I'm going to move over here. Cargo is for storing loot that is not valuable enough for a mighty rogue trader. Drag pieces of loot to remove it from your loot screen. It will be packed into a suitable cargo space. You may withdraw loot from the cargo at any time. Selling full cargo to merchants improves your reputation with their faction. However, all loot inside that cargo will be lost because you're selling it. So we just put in six swords, and now our melee weaponry cargo capacity is at 60%. Okay. That seems really low. Like, I can only hold four more swords in my cargo? That doesn't seem right. I don't think I, I will we'll keep playing with that system. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of like a mobile bank, which I think is awesome. Um, yeah, we'll we'll have to play with that for sure. I'm I think I'm loving that idea, but we're gonna need to see. Is there money to be made? I don't know. Is it? Where are we going right now? Let's explore both sides real quick. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Oh, dude, I'm... Let's see here. There we go. I always have a backup plan. Can you double pistol? We could, but I don't want to because I might want to have a sword in case I get too close. Here is a map of your void ship. It consists of several parts between which you can travel. Some parts are not yet available, but over time your character will be able to access them. I can't wait to get that big beefy boy in the middle. We'll see. Hey, Tornus, good to see you, man, and thank you. Thank you. That seems warpy. 
Enter the halls of the blinded guide and witness the radiance of the final dawn through the cracks and fall victim to a whim of fate. Yes, ma'am. Master, watch your head. Oh, I gotta get my pizza ordered. Idira, would it be too much to ask that you phrase your soothsayings plainly for once? That was too close. Agree. Too close. <laughs> Sorry, old man. The voices are so loud I can't even hear myself. They shriek, they sing, they... Oh, Abelard, how they sing! Oh, I like this VA. This is good. This is Idira Tlas, personal psyker and diviner of Her Ladyship Theodora von Falencius. Idira? I'm not drunk, old man. I'm suffering the effects of the warp that is seeping through these walls. I see the ship's fate. To die in the waves of the Immaterium, fall under the burning rays of the final dawn, and in the roaring blaze I see a figure standing. Who is it? I have no it's answer. It's me! Oh, there you go. Yeah, we're working on a cam bar now. Um, but yeah, here's, uh, until we're done. There you go. How's that? Tiny Co. All right. The entity in your consciousness shrieks and crawls in, in deeper, its claws scraping against the walls of your mind, as if the presence is trying to hide from the seer standing before you. A diviner, are you? The voices from beyond the threshold whisper to me. Sometimes their murmurs are clear, they grant insight. Sometimes they drive me mad. But I am patient. I know how to listen <laughs> and discern. But now, with this clamor around me, too many voices, too loud. Damn. And you, you are Fon Valancius, one of Lady Theodora's heirs. Well then, <laughs> we finally meet. We, we do, we do. One sec, gotta put in my delivery time. Did we do it? Yeah, we did. Right, one sec. Um, one sec, one sec, one sec, there it is. Okay. And... Almost done, almost done, almost done, almost done. Okay. We're getting some pizza and wings today, chat. It's gonna be good. in the order now. And... Boop. We are good! Thanks, chat. Uh-oh. Officer's frequency to all who can hear me. Those with a weapon in their hands are to gather the officer's deck at once. I repeat, gather the officer's deck at once and prepare to launch a counterattack. Great. Okay, it's coming at 12.30, so we got a couple hours. Awesome. Uh, by the way, my plan is when I when I get lunch, uh, I hope you guys don't mind. I'm probably just going to mute myself and eat on stream, and we'll keep playing. Um, we'll go from there. Okay. I don't really want to, like, take a break or anything. I may take a, a little bit of a break. Why mute? Because I don't like chewing into a mic. I hate that myself, and I'm not going to sub subject you to that. Yeah. That's it, Ulthrat. Mm -hmm. Oh, Emperor's Providence. The other air lives as well. 
Quickly! We must head to... Not so fast, old man. If we drown in the warp, Lady Theodora's heirs won't be any good to us. If Edelstrad's like me and hasn't yet surrendered his mind or body to the mercy of the warp, then he can still hold on a little longer without us. Blast it! You're right. First, we need to deal with what is happening here. How do you know who I am? What? You think Lady Theodora didn't ask me to peek into the darkness behind the backs of those she sees as her prospective heirs? <laughs> I have seen you. I have seen the footsteps of your past and the wounds of your heart. The Seer's words dredge up something dark and frightening from the depths of your memory. Your soul has been tainted by the influence of warped sorcery, and it seems you will never be rid of it. What are you doing here? <laughs> the whispers called me. The ones I could make out among all the screams and screeches. Those who are rocking this boat hit us where it hurt. They went after the navigator, our guide through the warp. Other whispers called me to the Engineerium, but it was too late. I heard the cry of our master, Cog, and the silence that followed. Is she also in the Church of Coggers? What? You don't mean the Engine Seer Prime is... Dead, without a doubt. Oh, no. <laughs> and the voices wail, heralding countless nightmares, cackling at each soul among the hundreds that are now joining the warp. The shriek from the Navigator Sanctum was louder than the rest. <laughs> and it's better that we saved the Navigator than some lever puller from a cooling module or a cook from the middle decks. You must see the Navigator's well. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Nothing is well about him. Can't you feel the chill crawling on your skin? The eyes watching you? The warp ice has already encased the bulkheads. What follows is... Calamity. <laughs> but we're not just going to stand here and take it, are we? The state of things in here suggests there's a navigator around. Maybe one who's crippled or at death's door, but still kicking. And since our skin hasn't peeled off our faces just yet, his third eye must be closed. At worst, it's a little roughed up. So what are we moping around for? Let's go protect that noble mutant while we're still alive. <laughs>